everyone happy new year uh, for today's video I actually messaged uh, friends and family and I asked them what their new year's resolution is and I also asked if they could share it with us today and so here are the clips I hope you enjoy Sage. You guys know we also do have a vlog on Sage's um, page for our New Year's trip in 2019. Um, you guys should check it out. It was really fun and uh, you'll have lots of laughs, I guess. Um, so for today, we just wanted to ask Sage what her New Year's resolution is and uh, for her to share it with us. What's your New Year's resolution, Sage? It was actually unexpected. <laughs> I didn't really think I have one, but I guess um, it's something I tried or still doing um, from like near the end of 2020 up to maybe hopefully this year. Um, my focus or New Year's resolution would be just focusing on myself um, to improve more. And I guess because there's two types of knowledge, there's general and specialized. So hoping to do more on that and yeah just more on self-love self-care just me <laughs> oh that's nice you know I think I did focus on that on myself in 2020 a lot I felt like there was a lot of insecurities and a lot of confidence issues um but I think I was able to tackle on that for for 2020 and here I am doing YouTube so I think I did really well so um, um I hope that you know you get there yourself, and that's a really good year's resolution. Thanks for sharing. Yes, of course. Thank you, Mary. Uh, Michelle, what is your New Year's resolution? New Year's resolution. I actually don't do a lot of New Year's resolution, but this year, <laughs> I want to, um, first of all, social media. The usage of social media. I use like last year especially I use it a lot so this year I'm trying to minimize my usage wow. and do you know the f like on your phone you can limit your um yes. use of apps actually my employee taught me how to do that she said it helped her so much I did that <laughs> but I still I still go on it <laughs> it gives me it gives me the reminder and it tells me um whether I could um, use it for 15 minutes or another hour or ignore it. Right. I always put 15 minutes every time. <laughs> Here, hopefully. Yeah, I think it's also, it also has to do with, you know, how much things you have to do in a day. And I mean, COVID was quarantine time and you everybody was yeah. at home. So I think that's a different story and I think we should all be forgiven for that. But no, that's yeah. a really good new issue solution. Less social media. And right. I was a the whole year actually the whole year yeah i saw you and your siblings your siblings especially your uh, sister is super cute she's so talented uh, <laughs> yeah of course <laughs> <laughs> I don't <laughs> <have> <laughs> okay well second salute resolution that i have um i actually want eight hours of sleep every night which is yeah. literally contradicting right now because we are on a first fourth day of 2021 and i still have right. not fixed my sleep mm -hmm. like I, said, I just woke up from a nap so how am i going to sleep <laughs> <laughs> i don't think i could ever do that but that's a good one i think a lot of people do struggle with getting eight hours sleep yeah i i, I hope i could do that like anything else you want to add to your new year's resolution I want to get better with my um, with my relationship with God. Aww. Yeah. And a lot of reflection this year. Oh my God. Actually, fun fact. I'm a type of person who self-reflects every single night. I go to bed before I actually close my eyes. I self-reflect on things that happened today and, you know, what kind of lessons I've learned and what I, I mean, it, gets, it really, really helps when you're going and self-reflecting um, yeah. because it really helps you personally, internally, 
and then reflecting on things that you could have said better or maybe things that you could have done better today that you will do better tomorrow and so self-reflecting is very very important and yeah you should really put that top of your life that's so good it makes you self-aware and okay i self-reflected on this today and i feel like i need to be a little bit open to other people so that whatever they say i could take in upon myself and self-reflect on that because maybe they're right or maybe they are wrong because nobody's perfect but it really does help you become a little bit more open-minded and take in feedback and grow yourself and, and be mature because a yeah. lot of things like communication is easily perceived differently and yeah. when you receive information right away you might not perceive it the way the person is trying to convey the message so right so self-respect like self-reflecting after that's when you can like think about things like think about their views versus your views or your the way you received it um so self reflect very important and be really open to feedback well yeah. it is all of your new year's resolution are really really good and i really really thank you for sharing with us um and you know i think we all have to think about just starting you know just starting on working on those things that we need to focus on and as soon as soon as we start the better um or if you don't want to start now you want to start next month that's fine but i think it's really important to have a goal and i think that's where you are so just keep doing what you're you're already trying to do thank you for sharing on your new year's resolution Michelle all right for watching guys please subscribe Yes, yeah, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone. So this is Alia. She is my cousin, and she currently resides in Alberta, Canada. So we're a bit far from each other, which is why we're doing this through Zoom. Hi, Alia. Hi, Ben. Um, so Alia, we just wanted to ask, what is your New Year's resolution? If you could share with us. Um, a long-term one is probably. To stay as healthy as I can, because 2020, it's a lot of consumption of junk food and right. late night skip orders, you know. Uh, so I want to change that habit this year for sure. Yeah, and um, I also want to grow my side business that I have. It's called Hi. Hey Yo There. Why are you there? I will attach the link in the description <laughs> below for your Instagram so that they can check it out. She does ship, so if you guys are interested, they're very, very cute and they're all handmade. Yeah, um, I mostly sell custom painted tote bags for now, but I'm currently learning new customization. I um, saw it! I saw it in Instagram! I do plan on learning how to paint on shoes as well. Because um, that's pretty Ooh. popular right now, especially wow. Nike Air Force Ones, you know? So, good thing about it, right? For you to be a successful artist or in any real, in anything really, you have to be really open minded and be really open to feedback. Yeah. And then I guess one last New Year's resolution is to get good grades. <laughs> 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 I think you're doing just fine. I want to strive harder because um, I'm not just fulfilling this educational goal for myself, but there's also the part where I want to make my parents proud. We all do. Yeah. My study habits have not changed since 2017, so I want to change that habit too. Yeah, and like, I even purchased a planner for this. So that's mm -hmm. awesome. You're already on your New Year's resolution. You're already starting into building that habit, which is good. Good. Yes. Yeah. I guess another thing sleep, like uh, fixing my sleep schedule. <laughs> Everybody's fixing their sleep schedule. One of um, Michelle, actually, from the previous video, is actually doing the same thing. She says she needs eight hours of sleep. At yeah. <laughs> At least a solid, you know, six proper hours of sleep, you know. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, those are just my New Year's resolution as of now. Okay, so your New Year's resolution is to focus a little bit on your side hustle, you know, your tote bags and then paintings and, and, you know, just art, really. And um, being a little bit more organized, um, which would help you, you know, increase those grades that you're working on. 
um, and uh, focus on sleep and have a little bit more sleep than usual. Yeah, and also being more healthy, like eating more healthy. Oh food. yeah, I totally missed that. I, I think I missed that because I'm not that. I think I need to focus <laughs> on that too. Um, so no, great. Those are really good, and I think a lot of people can relate, and especially with with everyone really moving from like in school into an online school. I was just lucky I'm not in school anymore. Otherwise, I would have suffered so much. <laughs> um, but those are really good goals for you to be able to, you know, refocus and, and help you on those kind of things. And so, good luck. Thank you. And let's support Aaliyah's business, guys. I will put the description or I will put the link in the description below. Um, she does have an Instagram. It's really easy for you to, you know, get your customized tote bags. Um, and you can also see her work there. Um, and she will ship for you. Thanks, Aaliyah. Yeah. And have a happy new year. Happy new year, Ate. Bye, bye. Hi, Ate Anjali. So, my new year's resolution in this year 2021 is to value and appreciate little things in life. Um, like family, friends, people around you, and even small things, small blessings. Because that's what I have learned in this time of pandemic. What's up? It's Mary's cousin May. Um, my cousin asked me kung ano daw yung New Year's resolution ko. And always naman the New Year's resolution ko is to be a better version of myself. Which is hindi ko naman ginagawa every year. Pero maybe this year, kasi you know, I'm getting older na. And siguro also to be, ano, ano, more responsible sa mga bagay na nangyayari sa buhay ko. And to stay healthy. Magbawas kasi so yun lang. And also, siguro, um, ma hindi maging toxic sa relationship. Because I've always been a toxic person. But like, yeah, maybe, you know, magigaroon ng positive vibes sa akin. Magkaroon ako ng healthy relationship. Diba? <laughs> ah, maybe that's it. Yun lang. Maging okay lahat. At maging okay ang taon ko. <laughs> Dai, what's your New Year's resolution? Huh? What's your New Year's resolution? Hindi ko alam. Parang hindi na tumatalab sa akin yun. Eh di, ano na lang. Something you want to focus on sa 2021. Ganon. Rephrase the question. Uh, 72, 74. Save money? Save money, me too! <laughs> <laughs> Baby, what's your New Year's resolution? Hmm? What's your New Year's resolution? Uh, save money. Wala <laughs> kang originality. <laughs> Yun nga. Uh, save money. And... And... Invest, oh. invest, invest. Saka magi invest sa 2021. Kung ano kaya ni? Eh. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a little bit about me, um, people I'm close with and friends with, um, and I hope you picked up something from from their New Year's resolution. Now I know not everybody has a New Year's resolution. Some you know purposely don't have one so that you won't get disappointed um but i think it's really important that we you know put something on a focus somewhere um even if we you know if that means starting it right away or not starting it right away but i think it's really really important that we do have a goal um at some point and you know we work into achieving those goals and you know finding our resources as much as possible to um, help us with those goals um, and so I hope you picked up a little bit of something um, on this YouTube video today and uh, thank you for watching